We are getting into a, uh, an area of food that uh, I wish I knew more about, which is yes. Indian food. I know I love to eat your food. Thank you have you. fantastic tastes in your food. Thank you. But, um, you know, I just don't know enough about how to go about doing Great. it. Great. Well, today we'll be able to do a quick demonstration for you. Great. So we're going to be making beef kofta today. Kofta are the Indian equivalent to a meatball. Okay. Um, but they're spiced with our warm garam masala flavors and a bit of ginger and garlic. So, so tell the folks at home, garam masala is kind of a blend of different spices. Absolutely, it's kind of yeah. Uh, uh, kind of like curry would be in a way, kind of a blend of spices, yes, sort of. Yes, right. And this, uh, this, so this spice, garam masala, contains what ingredients? It contains cloves. It contains two types of cardamom, a green cardamom and a brown cardamom as well. It contains cumin. And really, the recipes vary from household to household, to chef to chef. So I have my own recipe. I prefer it more strong and more robust, whereas you may go to another household where the garam masala tastes different. And of course, it lends a different flavor to each dish that you're using it in. So it's quite unique. They, they, um, they use it, as, if I'm not mistaken, tell me if I'm wrong, they use it like uh, in India, like um, the Italians would use uh, balsamic vinegar it's bequeathed to daughters and yeah. and it's it's kind of part of the marriage ritual Absolutely. and everything and, yeah right. so that's really and cool it, good and in contemporary food now we can sprinkle a bit on boiled eggs or we can sprinkle a bit on salad um, you can really get creative with it, it Neat. so those meatballs flavors. have those flavors in absolutely them, okay? absolutely so I'm going to take you quickly through the ingredients what mm -hmm. I put in these to, to create these meatballs so we basically have some ground beef here you can use chicken turkey or lamb if you had it and to that we're going to add some garam masala it's a very very simple recipe and I'm going to add some chili powder as well because we like a little bit of spice, not too much. Uh, I'm going to um, turmeric. This is what gives the sort of yellow Indian food flavor and color. I'm going to add a bit of salt. And this is fresh ground garlic, which we need. And usually we add fresh ginger, but to this one I'm going to add ground ginger simply because we want to keep the meatball dry so it doesn't leach water. So we're going to add some ginger and then some cilantro and then you just stir that up and then if you're at home if you use a food processor to do this it will give you a smoother finish which is what I've done for the ones that I made earlier but you don't have to so you can mix this up and then you roll them into little balls or even burgers if you want to just stick them on the grill that would be a nice alternative hmm, okay. yeah and um, then do you chill them or anything I chill them overnight just to let the flavors mingle nice. but you don't have to do that so these are the ones that I made earlier okay. um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to let you do the honors of right. sauteing these guys off so some canola oil in a hot pan and they're good to go they're good to go right, yes here we go so right in these. the pot they go Right. All right. And then while so those are cooking, I'll tend to those. What are, what are you going to be so doing? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the, um, I'm going to talk to you about the tamarind glaze and also about the yogurt that I have here. So we're going to make a cinnamon and chili yogurt, which Ooh. is a very, very simple recipe. So we're always using plain yogurt here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add some cinnamon to it. Do you have a favorite kind of yogurt? I use whole milk yogurt. I never use the okay. fat-free kind because I think that it lends a better flavor and it's creamier. I'm and with you. And it's good for you too. Um, and then I'm going to add to that some chili powder right there and a pinch of salt. And that's our glaze done, the yogurt glaze. And that's it? Well, yeah, now obviously this would take a little bit longer to cook the meatballs, right, but after right. they are cooked, then the idea is just pop them right on the... Uh well, what we're going to do is once these are browned off and cooked properly, we're going to add a tamarind glaze. So when we talk about Indian flavors, there's a variety of different tastes. We talk about the contrast between spicy, sweet, tangy. So we're going to add the tangy and sweet to these about meatballs. 15 seconds left. Absolutely, no problem. So what we will do is this is a tamarind glaze, which is just from a tamarind concentrate, some maple syrup. And we'll just add that onto the meatballs. Oh, that looks so good. Want to remind yeah. everybody the recipe for this is on our website, mysuncoast.com. Right. And you will be um, presenting yeah. at a, uh, an event at Libby's Absolutely. coming Absolutely. It's a very, very exciting, unique event that we're going to be pairing wine and cocktails with Indian food, which is something that we've never done in Sarasota before. So and the date of that is? It's the 22nd of February, which is this coming Thursday between the hours of 5 and 8. Sounds fun. Um, Thank you so much. Welcome, so Here's the it. final product over here I'm after the uh, the uh, yogurt dressing is put on. It looks absolutely there you go. fantastic. And this is done. Will this be an item served at Libby's? Absolutely. It's going to be an item served. There one you of the go. most delicious ones. And we have a brilliant drink that we're pairing with it. Deepa, so. thanks so much for coming in You're today. You're welcome. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Thank you. We'll be right back.